My wife saw a rat in our backyard Wednesday, July 2nd of last year. I'm out doing errands, driving around. I get a call. I just saw a rat in the backyard. If you see one, there's a thousand were infested. You've got to call an exterminator. And on the phone, I say, yeah, sweetie, don't worry about it. And in my head, I'm thinking, she's full of shit. <laughs> she saw a squirrel. She's freaking out. Didn't see a rat. But I call every exterminator in the book. They all said the same thing. It's Fourth of July weekend. No one's coming out till Monday. No one. Fuck. Next date, Thursday, July 3rd. We have a couple friends over. We're sitting in my tiny concrete backyard, and at the far end of the backyard, there's a telephone line that goes over the yard. I'm facing the telephone line. My wife and her friends have their back to it. We're talking, we're eating hot dogs, drinking beer. At one point, I look up, running across the telephone line is a squirrel. I go, sweetie, excuse me, turn around. Isn't that what you saw? She turns around. Uh, that's a squirrel. I saw a rat. I know the difference between a rat and a squirrel. <laughs> now she's fucking lying. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> she realizes she saw a squirrel, doesn't want to get caught in front of her friend, so she's lying, so she looks... And now I have to hire an exterminator to support that lie. <laughs> I'm pissed off. 30 seconds goes by. I have another bite of hot dog, another sip of beer. 30 seconds goes by, I look back up, running across the telephone line, biggest rat I've ever seen. <laughs> you, it looked like Danny DeVito in a rat costume, just like, hi, hello. So, I'm staring at this thing. Out of the sky comes this huge hawk, comes blazing out of the sky, gets its claws into the rat. The rat makes this otherworldly shriek, this Bleh! The hawk tries to fly away with the rat. The rat is too big and muscular. The hawk can only get it two inches off of the line, drops it into our neighbor's yard, hits the top of their tool shed, blam! Rolls off and hits the ground, splat! And all their kids start screaming. <laughs> Everything that I just told you happened in the space of 60 seconds. That was the timeline. In 60 seconds, this was the sequence of events. Sweetie, is that what you saw? No, that's a squirrel. I saw a rat. She's full of shit. Eek, eek, eek. Swoop, claw, <laughs> lift, drop, blam, splat. In 60 seconds. The whole... I feel like doing research. Is there a forgotten Sumerian prankster god and his feast day is July 3rd? He's got one worshiper left and the dude killed a goat over a copper bowl and it gave the prankster god 40 seconds of power in our realm. He just poofed into being and went, did someone in Burbank just say there's no rats? Well, beans and grapes, what jokes and japes I'll play. I need a telephone line, a hawk and the biggest rat you've ever seen. shall be a naughty caprice. <laughs> Don't forget to kill the goat next year. Poof! Gone. Now we have to find a new house. We've been looking for houses. We've been house hunting for two months now. And a month ago, at 10 a.m. on a Sunday... Our realtor, me, and my wife interrupted an orgy. <laughs> we interrupted an orgy. We were told, go to this house at 10 a.m., we'll take a tour, 
We knock on the door, we wait, no one answers. We're just about to leave. We were just about to walk away. Door opens, there's this guy. Oh, oh wow, um, that's right. You guys were gonna look at the house. We, uh, a bunch of my friends came by. When he said the word by, this wave of fuck fumes came rolling out of the house. Hit us. He, he, he sees that we have smelled it. We see that he sees that we've smelled it. And instead of everybody just going, goodbye, now the social contract kicks in and we've got a cover because we're civilized human beings. So he says, would you like to take a tour of the house? In parentheses, because you did not just catch me fucking dozens of people. And we have to respond, of course we'd like to tour the house. Parentheses, because in no way have we caught you fucking dozens of people. So in we go into this enchanted forest of cock shafts and labias. It was, yes, exactly. We walk inside, there are air mattresses all over the floor. People are scattering everywhere. At one point, this busty Russian girl comes out, putting a robe on. Oh my goodness, the, um, the cleaning lady did not come by. Oh, you're not even fucking trying. Really? That was the first thing you thought of. Yeah, the cleaning lady didn't come by at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. You should fire that bitch. That's really unprofessional. Everyone knows Saturday night's fuck night. Bring three buckets. So we're just trying to get this over with, and then a guy, well, a blonde 17-year-old kid comes out of the bathroom, and he's got Craigslist hookup written all over him. <laughs> this was a, we need a 14th. So he comes out of the bathroom, and he got dressed in, he put on whatever was in the bathroom to wear. And here's what was in the bathroom. A pair of girls' sweatpants, that he has put on backwards so the word juicy is across <laughs> his groin. Juicy. Juicy. Which, I hate to say, probably factually accurate. <laughs> then, he's also wearing a girl's tank top from The Gap, aqua, blue or whatever it was, and he comes out and with no one asking him a question or even looking at him, he announces, well, everyone, I'm leaving, goodbye. So that ensures everyone turns and looks as he opens the sliding glass back door and just walks away from the house. We're in the fucking Hollywood Hills. There's nothing back there. There's no other roads. He's just walking into the trees and bushes, barefoot. There, where the fuck is he going? There he goes, sweetie. There goes fuck squatch through the underbrush. Look at that. A rare sighting of that cryptozoological marvel. Honey, get your camera. Take a blurry picture of fuck squatch. Oh, fuck squatch. What secrets do you hide? <laughs> We're driving away from the house, and that's when my wife says, I think everyone in that house was fucking each other. <laughs> You're just now realizing that. We were standing in a fog bank of twat mist for 10 minutes. We are going home to burn our clothing, and it just now hit you.